A hallmark of Alaska EPSCoR's current research project has been working with communities. As the project winds down, those efforts are bearing fruit. Alaska EPSCoR's South Central test case gave the Kenai Peninsula a glimpse of the future. Sam in 2050 gathered people from fisheries agencies and nonprofits from across the Kenai Peninsula to help generate scenarios of how the Kenai and its fisheries might change over the next few decades. It's a look at what um, potential conditions exist for salmon in the future for the Kenai River Basin. And these conditions are defined by you know, all these what we call critical uncertainties of um, environmental factors or social factors that will lead to alternative um, you know, conditions. The test case brought together people from 11 Kenai agencies and organizations for a workshop and asked them to identify the top uncertainties and choices facing Kenai fisheries in the future. We brought them through some exercises saying, well, envision your best and worst futures. What are the characteristics? And then what kind of decisions do you need to make in the future? Climate change was the largest concern, with marine conditions and economic, population, and land use pressures also cited. South Central test case researchers then used test case data to build models that considered the implications of these uncertainties and management choices. So it really, it integrates all components of the test case into one single story about the future. At a second workshop, participants worked to turn these results into a set of scenarios of the future of the Kenai, each based on different uncertainties and decisions. Trammell said the scenarios are meant to help facilitate greater understanding and coordination among agencies in charge of Kenai fisheries. It's, it's often used for strategic visions for a region. Um, it's often used as this uh, opportunity for interaction among the broader set of stakeholders to set a, a, a common vision for how things should proceed. The Southeast test case has been guiding the guides. The test case has held two well-attended research symposia in which area scientists shared findings with local tour leaders. We're hoping that by communicating science to tour guides that they will in turn um, have a greater um, education base in order to educate their um, tourists, which really translates into us having a much greater outreach impact than we would be able to otherwise because these tour guides are interfacing with hundreds of thousands of tourists each summer. The guides heard scientists discuss research on glaciology, salmon run timing, the economic value of glaciers, paralytic shellfish poisoning, and many other topics, as well as an in-depth presentation on ways to communicate about climate change. I think the main message that we're trying to send is that science is um, it's being done in our backyard, and cutting-edge research is, um, is being done here in our backyard. Attendees said the event offered up a wealth of information to aid in their tours. Our company strongly encourages us to attend these so that we can be more rounded as captains and as naturalists to share with the guests that come around the world. The Northern Test Case, which conducts research around the remote North Slope village of Nuwixit, invited the board of directors of Kukpik the village's Alaska Native Corporation, to a two-day workshop with researchers at the University of Alaska Fairbanks. We want to talk about the implications of a changing Arctic to Kupik and to the Wicks. How are all these changes that we're observing, witnessing, how might they make a difference to positive impact? Participants saw presentations from researchers on topics ranging from thawing permafrost to changes to ecosystems, subsistence animals, economics, and governance. Board members frequently share their own observations of change. There was some of the richest conversation I've seen uh, where scientists were sharing what they knew and locals were adding to that and complementing, and in some cases, um, noting observations and knowledge of the system that the researchers didn't have. Kofina said the purpose of the meeting was both to enable researchers to solicit local input and to give the community an opportunity to make use of research findings. Uh, for too long, uh, researchers have been involved in what I call hit-and-run research. They come, they take their information, and they go away. But we are increasingly interested in our research um, helping communities to make decisions, informing them, um, adding to their capacity to adapt to changes. 
A major goal of Alaska EPSCoR is to conduct research that benefits Alaskans. By involving Alaskans in shaping and interpreting research, and by keeping them informed of findings, outreach efforts like these help to make that goal a reality.